Hi, this is Joe, not Jim with MeasureQuick. This is a video series that we're going to do to explain the guided workflows. We'll separate them into different sections so that you can actually uh, follow what you need and move through them quickly. These guided workflows have taken us months to help improve your workflow and your process. They really came from uh, uh, other feedback that we got from uh, viewers and users like you. The people wanted something that was direct, uh, had a direct guide, a simplified version, and we didn't take away any features. We just made it as a path to move through MeasureQuick. The 2.0 has lots of great workflows, but they were kind of pick your own path. So we decided that let's give uh, our users another option. And uh, all of our processes start with the inside and then move to the outside. And then you test, complete, and uh, save your project. So the reason we actually do the start on the inside is that we're focused on airflow before charge. So before everybody asks or complains down below, that's why we do that. So we really want to make sure that there's not an issue with the filter or the blower motor or something that's causing your refrigerants to be off because you didn't actually confirm what's inside first. That's our path. So we hope that you can accommodate what our workflow does. And hopefully you'll find this to be a much faster, uh, more slimline version of MeasureQuick. This video will just kind of do a how to start a project. Uh, others will kind of go through the probes, probe placements, very similar stuff. And then we'll also talk about indoor and outdoor measurements, a uh, separate one on test out. There's one that's just on electrical and um, then probably something else that I'll, we'll probably throw in there. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So this video is all based upon the basic information that you're already used to if you're using MeasureQuick. If not, there's some great fundamental videos in our essentials. Get started with MeasureQuick about how to use the start screen and how to use some of the settings. And there's even one about how to add your field piece probes. So nothing has changed here on this start screen. Yours may look different. Again, go to our guide uh, video that actually tells you how to rearrange this. So there's options on how to start a job, which is I can actually tap on the blue icon. It says, hey, start a project right here. It's also similar to hitting start a project right here for that green button. That's how a lot of people are also starting most of their jobs. If you do have a CRM that's working with MeasureQuick, then you can uh, dispatch that job to somebody, to a technician in the field, and it would show up here. If you're not avail uh, aware of this, you can also use MeasureQuick Cloud to actually enter a lot of information and send that to your technician if you don't have a CRM that's working with MeasureQuick. Lots of options here on how to do that. I'm going to just use the Start Project button right here. So we're going to hit Start Project. Here's your guided workflows. Notice that they're all at the top and they're all together. These are not all the guided workflows. These are what we have coming out of the gate. So um, you looking for other workflows. These are our old uh, 2.0 workflows. Same information, same process. None of that has changed between cooling projects or heating projects. All those are there. Notice that we do have some uh, ACA workflows that are here for verified equipment operation. That's part of the new guided workflow. And coming soon to a, a tablet near you is the verified system performance. So I'm going to go down the list briefly. So there is a furnace install and service. That will get updated fairly soon to become an install separate from the service. We have the installation um, for cooling, a heat pump installation. We also have heat pump or AC service. And there's also different package uh, systems for install and service. Package is kind of different because it's all one package. You're not going inside and outside. And here's our new uh, ACA verified equipment operation. It's basically going through all the features of MeasureQuick and making sure that you get a high score and complete your subsystem review. I do want to stress one thing about the difference between install and service, especially if you're an existing MeasureQuick user. Things used to be like, have you been here before or other things like that. All of that's gone. The install is do your indoor and outdoor uh, pro placement measurements and uh, get all of your diagnostics done and then test out. It's one test out at the end. No more test in, test out. Again, install, one test at the end, one test. Service is similar to what you may be used to in, in uh, terms of using MeasureQuick. So we would do the same inside uh, pro placement measurements, outside the same, uh, do all your diagnostics. There is an actual test in. And then we're going to ask you if you want to continue. Does your client want to accept your repairs? And if so, you move down a different path. And if not, then you can actually just go ahead and exit there and you can still do your uh, create a, uh, a pro report and have a test in and a test out. So the goal is, is that test in, test out for service, one test for install. All right, let's get started. I'm going to do an install and we're going to come back and actually do a uh, service on that same uh, unit. So notice that it's trying to help me that where I'm at on this job site, I don't have any equipment. 
I don't even have a site, meaning I've not been to this location before. So make sure you understand that there's a site, that's the, the house, right? And I can have uh, equipment on it. I can have multiple pieces of equipment. So when I get there, so I have no site, then it's saying create a site. If I'd already been there before, it can say, you, do you want to add equipment to this site? Or do you want to use existing equipment on that site? So that's my add or select option versus create site. So we have not been here before. We're going to create a site. Okay, that's a wrap for the first part of the video. We now know what our options are in terms of uh, guided workflows. And um, we now need to move on to what are all the details in it and what are the probes that are required and uh, whether we unlock our Premier services now or later.